Hello, this is Anton Tushchev. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a ragdoll setup for your character using the new Atoms Ragdoll Builder tool. So you can open the Atoms Ragdoll Builder from the Atoms menu in Maya Houdini Tools and Ragdoll Builder. And it will open this, this window. So the, with this tool, you have a, a viewport. Uh, it uses the same uh, navigation shortcut of Maya, so you can use the Alt button with the left, middle, and right mouse button to navigate the, the viewport. Here you have a hierarchy of all the objects you have in your scene, and here you have all the attributes. So let's import a skeleton of an agent type. For example, let's get skeleton here you can see all the hierarchy of your skeleton uh, and then you can select uh, its joints you can check all the attributes here here you have the joint ID of these joints uh, with the name here uh, here you can switch different tool from selection move scale and rotate as well, you use the same Maya shortcut, so you can use the Q, W, E, and R key to switch from, from a different tool. So now we need to uh, create a rigid body on each, on each joint. So we need to select joints, use the Shift key to select multiple joints. This one should be okay. Now you can create a rich body using this button. It will default grid generate the sum capsule. So let's now import the skin mesh to have a reference of the volume of your character. So let's go there and import the skin. Now we have our reference of the skin and Let's hide for a second because let's create the constraints first. Um, let's just move a little bit this guy and this guy. Now, basically, uh, to create a constraint, you you can select a rigid body and um, use this button. This button generates a sphere that represents a constraint between a rigid body and it will create a constraint between the rigid body you selected and the first rigid body to find on the hierarchy. So in this case it's this one. And it set the position on the on the on the current uh, joints. So to speed up the process, just select uh, multiple rigid body. And you can create all the constraints in one go, like this. So now you can uh, set up the attributes of each rigid body. So let's switch to skin. And you can switch the wireframe modes of the skin. This way you can easily set the volume of, of each um, rigid body. and so on. Now you can set up the dynamic attributes. So for example, you can set up some mass on this guy here and some linear angular damping, static friction, and all the dynamic attributes that you can set up here. Uh, you can copy and paste attributes from one rigid body to another. So for example, here we have to set up the mass so if you press Ctrl C and then or use the edit copy attributes, then we can use the pass dynamic attributes option. So we can select multiple rigid body, edit and pass dynamic attributes. 
Okay, uh, now let's uh, set up the constraints. So let's turn on the wireframe for the rigid body so we can now select and edit more easily the constraints. So each red sphere here constraint, you can set up the type here. Right now, uh, the default option is all locked, so it's like a fixed constraint. So let's switch to, to limit. Now let's turn the tree some pyramid limits. Um, as a rigid body, you can uh, copy that boots with Ctrl C and then just select all the constraints and press Ctrl V to paste. So now they are whole with limits that we need to stop, but they are free to move. So we can already test our uh, ragdoll. We'll see there are stuff to tweak, like the limits angle, and the stuff. I can already see what's going on here. So let's create a ground. Let's move the ground back here. Let's scale them like this. Let's turn this guy here. And now if I press play here, it will simulate my ragdoll. It goes low because uh, the scale uh, is not right because my because my agent is using centimeter uh, physics expecting meter so we need to scale the scene from the solver nodes here if I press play obviously it's not right because we need to set up the right limit on the joints. So let's set up the limit. Um, let's turn the wireframe on again. Uh, let's select. It's obviously too high. Let's put around 15, 15, 15, oops, minus 15, 15, 15, 15. Copy. On. So set up all the limits and also the rigid body and then have a look to a final ragdoll. So the, this is my ragdoll, so let's have a play, it's better, uh, you can uh, uh, check if your ragdoll is fine even during the simulation, if you press with the left mouse button on one rigid body and drag the mouse, you can drag the ragdoll around to see how, how the physics behaves. If you want to check my mistake, uh, so I set just some mass, changed a little bit the linear damping, different rigid body. Uh, if you can press F if you want to focus. Uh, one important thing is on the feet, um, you need to turn on the disable collision event. In this way, during the simulation, the agent will not trigger tractor when. Uh, when the feet are intersecting with your grounds or with your eye fields. Um, so here, if you want to check this setup, you can load uh, a scene. Uh, if you go here in your uh, Anton's Maya data folder, there is this man regular stop. That is my stop. It will load it. So this is file, so you can save your scene as well if you want. Just go here and save, and you can save your your setup scene. And then you can export finally your rectal setup. So you just 
press here on the ragdoll setup exporter and save as a Adams ragdoll. Just press save and your 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 setup is ready to be used. Uh, if you want, you can in, import an existing setup using this button. It will load an Atoms Ragdoll file. Uh, so in this way, you can check and modify an existing uh, Atoms Ragdoll. So let's test our setup. Just open Atoms UI. On your agent type, go on the ragdoll path here and set the file you created. Just uh, let's create an agent group. Set up with a grid layout, state machine, and ragdoll. Couple of agents. Stay machine. Red dot set up. Red dot. If we press play, nothing happened because we need to set up the physics. So let's create a grid that will be our ground. body objects set my grid transform now apply data atoms physics data this one going to merge box and the plane Which should be fine. Turn on the dynamic and set. Let's play. Yeah, last thing set up the scale. In my case, I'm using centimeter, so I need to scale it. That's it. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.